I've played on some of the biggest Motown hits. I toured and performed with all of the Motown stars. It was the dream of my life coming true, and I was only 17. One day when I woke up, Motown was knocking at my door and said they wanted me. It was the opportunity of a lifetime, and it changed my life. Tony Newton is my name and music is my game. Chances are I've rocked your world and we don't even know each other. Bass, guitar, and keyboards are my instrument of power and persuasion. My friends and you can call me the Groove Monster because I love to groove. I've recorded hundreds of songs with some of the greatest music artists in history. Many of them go recording, but you see, the bassman don't get no respect because he's always in the background. But what you don't know is that the bass is the driving force behind any music because it makes you feel real good inside. I'm sure out of all the music I've recorded over the years that you've listened to me on the bottom end and you groove to me. It just takes a big two to keep my going yeah, yeah. We had a stepmother who was really the wicked witch of the East. I could take it for myself, but I couldn't take it for him. And I was his little protector. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot you right down. I left home as early as I could, about 14 or 15. And, and then I had to play in these blues clubs. As soon as I pulled up in my place, I just jumped out of my car, pulled my gun, and ran to their car. It was my first trip to New York playing Apollo with Smokey and the Miracles. This one day we had this show, and uh, of course in those days all the, the black guys wore processes, so you'd go to the hair hair salon to get your hair did. So 1965, it was the first Motown review. I was only 16 years old. This man has gone from rhythm and blues, funk, the rock of the 60s, into Tony Williams, free jazz, and while he was doing Tony Williams, I was doing Weather Report in Brubeck. I met Tony Williams. I put a tape together of uh, snippets of songs that records I had played on and sent it to him. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. You know, to me, that's, that's the holy grail of, of uh, rock and roll or, or jazz or, or any any medium you can think of is is to have a, a song like that and it was the most enjoyable experience of, of my life to play with such uh, tremendous different type of musicians right <laughs> Standing in the shadows of Motown, Tony Newton 
should have been a person that was you since Jameson wasn't there because you were the most identifiable person other than Jameson with us overseas, you know, representing Motown. God spoke to me and said that, Tony, you need to start playing piano. And that was my goal, to be on the same level as any other master. One of the, the great composers, uh, whose name is Gustav Holtz, he had written uh, this big symphony called The Planets. My current project is TNT Extreme, which we do funk, rock, fusion, and a, a wide range of instrumentals and uh, and songs. And I think it's my best work. I know you know what I'm talking about. Beautiful people, I see the beauty in you, like the stars.